I'm dripping junket. How you all doing? Ralph here, Ralphie's Reviews, Team No Steep. Now, another tutorial up. It's a dead, dead simple, dead, dead basic. What we're going to do, we're going to make a pair of parallel coils. Lots of people use these all the time. It's one of my favourite builds. Um, gives you good cloud, good flavour. Low resistance for the size, hence a good cloud and good flavour. Really, really easy to make. We're a treat. What we'll do, we'll get up close and personal, yeah, and we'll run through the process. And then you can have a go yourself at home and let me know how you get on. See you in a minute. Okay, so what I've done, I've pulled myself off two pieces of 0.41 canthole, about nine inches long, ten inches long. And we're going to take one, we're going to fold it in half so the ends meet up, yeah. Grab that, then we pull it like a zip, my way I say. Squeeze that end together, and then take your pliers and just firm that up. Don't go mad, don't squash it too hard. Make sure it doesn't cross over. It's quite important that you keep these running parallel and not twisting about. So, what I do is squeeze that up, like I just said like that and then I use my thumb and finger to pull them out straight they'll spring back a little bit but that's all good repeat as necessary with the second piece so join your two ends up get them level pull it together like a zip squeeze it with your fingers Get in there with the pliers, hold it tight, make sure that they're then nice and even and flat, pull them out. Jobs are good in. So now we can wrap one. Now as you know, I really like these little precision cheapo screwdrivers because they've got this shoulder and they're both you know, the good sizes. So all I'm going to do is four wraps. We're going to take the end that's been bent over and nailed together. We're going to put that in first, yeah? So that's there. Trap it with a finger. And we're going to go four wraps, which is one, two, three, and lastly, four. Push him up. Yeah, good start. Now, Take your pliers and grab each one of these loose ends, one at a time. Give them a really good pull. And what that'll do, it'll snug it all up, get it all even, and just how we want it. So, nice and simple. No crossovers, no kinks, everything's looking pretty. There's one. Trim the loose ends off. Longer than the, the other end, so it's easier to fit. And we'll go ahead and repeat for the second coil. So, joined end goes in first, tap it with a finger. I'm going to do four wraps, yeah? There we go. Pull him out. Get your pliers on them loose ends. Give them a real good pull. Make sure that they all snug up nicely. Twist him a little if you need to. Push him up to that shoulder. Another nice coil. What could be easier? Trim off those loose ends. And there, or two coils ready to fit. Okay, so we can fit these bad boys now. We've got a dripper, Mephisto, one of my favourites. Mahootive, great holes, proper screw heads, 
winner winner chicken dinner yeah take one of your coils and with the longest end first through the center post the other end through your negative post I'm just going to position him a little bit away from those posts don't worry if he's not too straight don't worry if he's not looking as pretty as you like because we're going to sort all that out and then we get a screwdriver and we tighten up just the negative post because we're going to be running another two leads through that positive post in a minute so we'll just just nip him up yeah bum ba bum lovely jubbly now excuse me banging the camera why this ends out tight and this ends out loose we can take this opportunity just to give him a push I'm just going to push him over towards the center a little bit just makes it easier later spin him around take those out of the way so you don't give yourself some comfo stick and repeat so long ends through the center not always easy to do on camera bear with short ends through the negative Push him up so he's about where we want him, not too close to the post, not too close to the edge, kind of in the middle. This time, we're going to snug up the negative. We're going to push this one towards the centre. So if we give him a jiggle look, he'll go nice and towards the centre. Spin it round. Let his mate join in, give him a wiggle, nice and towards the centre. Not too shabby. Tighten up the middle. Bum, bum, bum. Bear with. Not the easiest thing to do on camera, this sort of thing. I don't know how otherwise other guys get on, but I've always found it a bit awkward. Doing a reach around, not in a good way. So, make sure he's snug, 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 we'll get our screwdrivers out of the way, we'll take our side cutters and we'll give him an air cut, so we're going to trim off all those loose ends, two negative ones are always easy to get to, the positive ones can be quite awkward because obviously you've got two more legs in the way, if you can get in there with the clippers, do. If not, what I like to do is do the old twisty pulley. So we're just rolling him, moving him around and around and around. And it should eventually snap off. Yeah. Repeat as necessary. Right, so there we go. That's him all, all trimmed off. So his hair cut 100. What I'm going to do is just check that everything's still nice and tight. See that middle took a little bit of a snug there. The old middle ends are still good, I would imagine. Take your screwdriver back through, and now we're making pretty. So we're going to pull it towards ourselves, and then up. Towards and up, and at the same time, we're going to push that screwdriver across. So we're going to manipulate him as near to the middle as we can get him. Take that out. See how gappy that is. Don't worry, we'll sort that out in a minute. Same for this one. Screwdriver back in, and we're pulling him towards me, up, and shoving him across at the same time. Looking good, looking good. Now we'll look it, make it look really good. So it's time for pull some pinch. Now I'm just going to hit the fire button, and they'll start to glow. And they will be all over the place. Look, see that? Shocking. But while they're still glowing, 
Get them with the pliers. Gently now. Don't ruin that coil. Gently squeeze them together. Let's do this, mate. Get him warm. Gently squeeze them together. Yeah? Try again. Getting better. He is getting better. Gently squeeze him together. Gently squeeze him together. Take your screwdriver, pop him back in. Give him a pull out. Give him a push across a little bit. And what we've done, we've fired it off now, so we've taken all that spring out of the can file. And it should stay where we put it a little bit easier. Not always the easiest thing to work with, but well worth it. So get him out. Pinch and pulse. There we go. He's coming. He's coming. Squeeze him up. Pinch him off. Squeeze him up. How's he looking now? He's looking not too shabby. Because we've got it warm, we'll go in one last time. We'll check that those screws are all tight. We'll put a screwdriver back in and we'll give him a mess around look. And what that'll do, that'll help to get rid of any shorts in between the coils. Give him a little strum. I like to stroke him gently. Misses, same with this side, in. Wiggle him about a bit. Take him out. Strum him. Let's have a look. He's coming. Boom. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, we'll check the old resistance. <sighs> Stick him on the ohms meter. If you've not got one, get one. Please, trust me. Well worth it. I'm guessing we've got about 0 0.2. 1.5 to 2. If this thing's working properly. 0 0.19. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. So, ready for a wick. And then we can get on. And vape. So I've got the old Muji cotton. Lots and lots of different cottons coming out of the wood right now. I still favour this. I really like this stuff. Um, what I do is split the pads. This one's already been split. See how they have this kind of a sheathing. I mentioned it in a few of my videos. I'll pull it in half because I want this fluffiness. And I'm just going to tear off two strips, guessing that they'll fit through the old 2.5 and I'm going to roll it into a little sausage I'm not going backwards and forwards I'm just rolling one way I want to create some fluffiness fluffy little sausage take one end give it a good squeeze roll him out to a point and that'll help us fit him through the coils so we'll get his mate and we'll roll him now because I've just done the other one this feels a bit fat so what we can do with this is just take some off. Just get rid of that. Go again. Oh yeah, feels better. Nice and slim. Again, grab one end. Pinch and twist. And that gives us that long end. Let's get in there. And wick up. Not quite tight enough, so tease a bit out. Pinch it with your fingers. Roll it again. And off we go. That loose end. And what I like to do is pull it through until it feels firm but not really tight. And I should pick that up. And then just pull it back a bit. And that'll bunch up the cotton either side of the coil. Spin him round. Same again. Get that nice and tight, that end. Started through the coil. 
pull him through. There we go, that's firm enough. Pull him back a little bit. Looks like a moustache look. It's time for a trim. I always trim. Don't ask me why, you can do either end, it don't really matter. The coils are sitting pretty central, so there's no real bias, but I always trim this end along. And that end a little bit shorter. With these scissors, I could do with some new ones. So that end along. This end a little bit shorter. And the reason that I do that, is that I'm going to take this loose end, the long end, rather, and I'm going to bend him round and tuck him under the coil just like that leave that fluffy and bunched up just how we like it and then I'm going to take the short end and I'm just going to tuck the ends in put him to bed make sure there's nothing sticking down the sides because your top cap's going to foul on it same again long end under the coil and what that'll do that'll create a little cloud bed that the juice can sit in and then this coil can vaporise that nice and easily tuck that end in, put him to bed jobs are good em. I'm giving him a, a bit of a drip so I don't flood it straight out just cover your coil same this side just cover your coil Yeah. Now we're going to hit the old, uh, make sure that's tight, hit the fire button, just enough to get a bit of steam. And what that'll do, that'll warm that juice up and draw him in to the core there. Yeah, primes it for us. So now, do it again. This time, a little bit more generously. Dribble some over the middle. Give it a second or two. Fire them off again. There we go. Starting to get the action that we want now, aren't we? And last, but by no means least, we'll juice them up good and proper. So, it should be a chucking. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nothing wrong with that. Time for the top cap. As always, Make sure that your airflow holes, I've got both of them open obviously because I'm running dual coils, but make sure that they line up with the coil when you fit it. If you have it sideways, you're going to get horrible nasty dry hits and all sorts of horrible action happening. And that's good to vote. I'll see you up top and we'll have a quick blast. So there you go. Parallel coil. Quite easy to make. The, the beauty of it is that you're halving the resistance, yeah? So a normal 8 wrap 0.4 joule is going to come out about 4 ohms, uh, sorry, 0.4 ohms, which is about what I use uh, on some of my variable mods, uh, mod 60 watts, thereabouts, not a bad fate. Want a mech mod, I need it like 0 0.2, 0 0.15, lovely way to do it. Let's see how she vapes anyway. Well, it's chucking. The flavour's spot on. It really is. I like my Claptons. I like my zippers. I like my twisted messes. This is a really straightforward build. It's not at all difficult to do. And the benefits are absolutely on point. Gives you a nice, rich, thick vapour. Not too warm for me at all, at that. And the flavour's just spot on. So there you go. That's a dual parallel 0 0.41 canthol. Comes out just under 0 0.2 ohms. Obviously, if you use thicker wire, you're going to get less resistance. If you use thinner wire, you're going to get more resistance. Send me the wraps, play with it, see what you think. Remember, smoking kills, vaping saves lives. Which are you going to choose? Vape safe, vape happy, everyone. I'll see you soon, yeah? Big love.